In this video, I'm gonna tell you what are the best countries to find your first blockchain job. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. So we're gonna start with a high-level overview of the situation. So let me pull up my spreadsheet here. So in Asia, I did some research on LinkedIn, and currently there are 2,000. 2,200 jobs with the word blockchain in it. That's less than the United States, which stands at 3,700, and Europe has 6,800. So really, in Europe, you have the best job, followed by the United States and then Asia. But actually, when we're gonna dive deeper, we're gonna find that for cities, it's a little bit different. So in Berlin, Currently, you have about 486 jobs with blockchain in it. So, Berlin is one of the hubs for tech startup in Europe. So, this is not really surprising to see it in the list. And Berlin is a pretty cool city, uh, relatively inexpensive compared to other cities that are in a, in tech hub. So. Might be, uh, might be a good idea. Also, German people in general, they speak good, good English and they're, they're quite friendly. So that's interesting. Um, I know that I think Gnosis is in Berlin and every year they have this uh, conference which is called uh, DAP, uh, DAPCON yeah, in, uh, in the summer. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is quite interesting. Then we have New York, which currently has 528 jobs so New York traditionally always been a place with a ton of job in in the US so that's really the hub uh, on the East Coast a lot of uh, blockchain activity there um, then we have Paris which currently has 613 jobs so France surprisingly is doing pretty well with a blockchain startup for example, Ledger, the company that produces, you know, the, the hardware wallet that are used by, by so many people. So this is a French company. And uh, in general, uh, France uh, and Paris in particular are pretty, uh, pretty active. Uh, for example, one of the major Ethereum conference for developer is if CC is in Paris every year uh, in March. So Paris is cool and in terms of visa, if you are European, you can work there without any problem. However, the issue with Paris is that it's in France and in general, French people don't make too much effort for speaking English and you probably will need to speak French if you want to work for um, a French blockchain company. So that makes it less accessible to a lot of people. Then we have, of course, San Francisco, which currently has a 782 blockchain job. So blockchain is a, a, technologic, uh, a technological industry and San Francisco uh, and the Bay Area is really the hub for, for the tech industry in general. So that's not surprising to see San Francisco there. For blockchain job, you'll find the best salary in San Francisco. However, San Francisco is also super expensive. So a lot of the money you're gonna make, you're gonna pay it back in rent. Also, the taxis are super expensive. So that kind of offsets some of the benefit. And at the top of the list, surprisingly, we have London, which currently has 864 job positions advertised on LinkedIn. I actually personally work in London for a blockchain company, and I know that there are a ton of blockchain companies there. Uh, for example, uh, blockchain.com, uh, that's a, a wallet for Bitcoin and Ethereum, they are there. Uh, and I know that the, the blockchain community there is also really vibrant. You have like tons of meetup uh, conferences, so I can totally vouch for, for London. Uh, salaries are pretty good, not as high as in San Francisco, but uh, pretty high, especially compared to other cities uh, in Europe. So um, also I would say it's probably a bit less competitive in London compared to San Francisco because um, developers in general, they don't really think um, uh, about London first day. They are really super focused on, on San Francisco. So, um, and I find that British people are really nice to work with. So if you have a chance to work for a blockchain company uh, in the UK um, and in London, yeah, that's, that's pretty good opportunity. 
So what if you don't live in any of these cities? Does it mean that you cannot get your first blockchain job? No, that's mean this. So first of all, you will notice that the US is doing pretty well for blockchain job in, in general. Um, but this is a bit misleading because there are many blockchain companies that are uh, registered as a company in the US in the state of Delaware uh, to be specific because they have investors from, from the Bay Area and these investors in general, in order to invest in a company, they want this company to be incorporated in the state of Delaware in the US. That's really the standard procedure. So. It doesn't mean that because the blockchain company is incorporated in the US that they actually have their programmer in the US. They, they can have their offices in other countries. And second, the blockchain industry in general is much, much, more, much more open to remote work than in other industry. And that's because there is really a shortage of talent on the market. So they really have to be uh, more open if they want to find some people who are able to uh, do some blockchain application. So even if you see some job offer in the different cities that I mentioned before, it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to be physically there. Uh, you can probably work remotely for a lot of, of this uh, of this position. So really, that's totally fine if you don't live uh, in the tech center. And if you want to have other advices for how you can find your first blockchain job, I have a full playlist full of super useful tips. So you should absolutely check it out. I'll see you there.